right, everybody, we are here with game three of the top eight match from the Davie Florida City Championship. The first game, we saw Sammy on the left take down Roberto uh, in a pretty quick game. And then game two, Roberto won a very, very close game uh, where he got a catcher on a Jirachi to finish it off. And now we're going to see game three. We'll see who wins. Now, uh, quite a long time has passed by. However, this won't actually be a problem because in Florida, the top cut matches are all 75 minutes long. Now, most places only run 60 minute top cut rounds, but Florida runs 75 minute rounds because they want all three games to finish. Um, normally 60 minutes actually isn't enough time to finish three games. You see a lot of games come down to sudden death, uh, like you get to a game of three where first person to take the prize wins or just the game doesn't just the game just doesn't finish in general but when you have 75 minutes it's actually pretty nice you actually get to finish all three games and we'll get to see who actually wins all three games uh, so Sammy does start off with a collector once again and this time Roberto starts off with a collector as well so this could be a pretty cool game um, Sammy did attach a psychic and an EV light on his Kyurem I believe he started with Kyum all three games, which is very nice for him. Um, he does have the two Volt Orbs down, and he'll be able to hopefully get a turn two Energy Might, which um, would be pretty big uh, if he could start glaciating on the second turn and start spreading damage to all those Pokemon right there. Uh, so we do see Roberto has Magnemite, Tynamo, and he collectors for uh, Tynamo, Magnemite, and a Zekrom. Now, this is usually a pretty big tell. Um, he searched through his deck pretty quickly and grabbed those Pokemon. And he didn't grab Cleffa. So, normally you'd see somebody search their deck a couple times if Cleffa were prized. Um, but this is going to probably hint Sammy off that Roberto has a pretty strong hand. Um, maybe he'll have a turn to Magnezone this game. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, that would be pretty big if he could pull off a turn to Magnezone. It really just uh, is the strongest thing you can, the strongest evolution you can have on the second turn of a game would be a Magnezone because Magnetic Draw is probably the best power in the format. It allows you to refill your hand and basically just draw through your deck. And then it allows you to set up more evolutions and eventually you just get completely set up and you uh, overrun your opponent. So here we have a turn two Energy Might. Uh, I believe this happened last game as well. And oof. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh, we got zero energy from the energy might, and this is what can happen. This is the big risk. When you're playing an Electro deck, you don't know what's in those top seven cards. So, um, Sammy blew up, hope for the best, and he got the worst. Uh, he discards seven cards, gets no energy, and his opponent gets to take a prize card. And all of this just for knocking out your own Electrode. So, this is definitely the downside to Electrode Prime, but um, you know that when you when you play the card, it's risk and reward, uh, very high risk, very high reward, and in this situation, the risk caught up to him, there's no real reward, he's actually going to have to blow up a second time, go for another Energy Might, hopefully he gets some energy this time, and it looks like he did get two, so uh, he will be able to Glaciate this turn if he has another uh, Water Energy, I'm sure he does. So, uh, we do see, yep, there's a rainbow, so we will still see the turn to Glaciate, but at the cost of what? He discarded 12 cards and gave Roberto two prizes, so uh, this is going to be the big turn for Roberto. Can he evolve his Pokemon? Uh, I've been saying this every game, alright, so he does evolve the electric, but I've been saying this every game. This is the defining turn of the game. Can Roberto evolve his Magnemite? Um... He's going to catch her out the Kyurem with one energy, which is a very good move. He's going to buy some time. But if he cannot evolve his Magnemites, they are just a Glaciate away from all being knocked out, and that Tynamo as well. So, um, this is a scary, scary turn. If he cannot evolve his Pokemon, he's probably going to lose the game. Um, the Magnemites are going to be wiped off his field. He actually puts down a third Magnemite, realizing this can happen. And there's a Juniper, so this is it. Uh, in these seven cards, he's going to have to get something going. If he doesn't, 
It's going to be a long game for Roberto, uh, but hopefully he gets a communication or something, at least a magneton. He does get two electrics down, uh, but I don't think there are any energy in his discard pile. He actually did not attach an energy his first turn, which was a pretty big deal because um, that made it so um, he actually could not respond with a lost burn knockout on a Kyurem unless he had uh, an absurd combination of cards. So missing that first turn energy drop is pretty big. But we do see a Junk Arm here. Gets rid of two Lightning. Um, let's see what he gets back. A Catcher. Okay. So he's going to be able to, at the very least, power up something. Let's see what he decides to do. Puts two energy on to Zekrom. Now that might mean we don't have... <laughs> Alright, he's going to play a Switch. Um, but I'm going to say that's... That might mean that we don't have any evolutions for the Magnemites. If that's the case, this is going to get ugly very, very quickly. Um, <laughs> so we're going to see an Outrage, and there you see it, those Magnemites, they uh, both have 30 damage on them, and it's just a Glaciate away. Uh, but the one thing that's saving Roberto in this case is that Sammy's going to have to pay an energy, or Sammy I don't believe plays Switch in his deck. Now this is uh, kind of a mistake that I think he fixed later on in the marathon, but um, if he doesn't have a Switch, he can't actually Switch and Glaciate, and it would be too costly to retreat. So he's actually going to just Twins for an Eevee Light and a Water, and give Roberto a turn to actually to evolve, which was huge. Uh, he really wanted to Glaciate that turn. So here's a Sage's Training. This could be big. If Roberto gets one Magnezone out, he could just keep Magnetic Drawing and getting uh, more and more evolutions, putting things out of range for Glaciate, and uh, we're fixing some Outrage damage there. Uh, Zekrom does have 40 damage on it because uh, Outrage does 20 plus 20. Anyway, we'll see what Roberto gets off of his Sage's training. Look at the top five. He gets to choose two of them. Um, hopefully he has something to evolve one of those Magnemites because... It's going to be the only way he can really get in this game. Um, there we go. All right, we got a Magneton at the very least. You know, he would have hoped to see a Rare Candy and a Magnezone at this point. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to. And he's got some decisions to make now. Um, it looks like he'll probably have to outrage this turn. I'm not sure what else he would do. He needs to attach an energy somewhere. Um... I don't know whether or not he wants to Outrage or Bolt Strike this turn. It's actually an interesting decision. Uh, probably Outrage just because uh, he doesn't want to get Outraged for a knockout. If he did use Bolt Strike, uh, that would put him in a pretty bad situation. So, he's going to Outrage for 40, and we're just kind of in an Outrage battle here. Um, now, if Sammy were to use Outrage again, he would actually get knocked out. And, alright, there we go. So we have an N. And this is going to be a big deal because Sammy draws 6 and Roberto draws 4 because of those two energy mites on the second turn. Uh, Roberto is down to 4 prizes. So, uh, this could definitely swing the tide of the game. However, Roberto didn't have a very good hand. So this actually might help him more than it hurts him. We'll have to see. Uh, he can't draw much worse than he has so far. So Sammy's going to draw 6, hopefully getting a water. And there we do see it in his hand. So... Um, he'll probably Glaciate this turn, I would hope. You know, two more Glaciates, and both Electrics will be knocked out. That's going to be a really big deal. Uh, once Electric is out of play, it's tough for uh, the Magnezone Electric player to actually get enough energy in play to keep knocking out these big basics, because you can't fuel Lost Burn. Uh, and then he's actually going to catch her up the Electric. This is going to be huge if he can buy a turn and uh, Glaciate everywhere. It's actually going to get a knockout on the Magnemite. And put everything else with heavy, heavy damage. And Glaciate damage adds up very quickly. Uh, as you can see, there's, what, there's 60, 120, 180. Um, 210, 220, 280 damage on the field already. But uh, we do have a Magnezone coming down finally for Roberto. So this is the big turn. He's going to need to switch here. And... Honestly, even if, even if he does switch this turn and knock out the active Kyurem, it's going to be an uphill battle just because 
he won't have too many energy in play. And uh, he's going to have both electrics get knocked out. So uh, we do see another Magneton. That's a good thing. That will avoid a Glaciate knockout uh, from the next Kyurem. So things could be good depending on what Roberto draws. Um, interesting that he doesn't grab a Tynamo with the communication. That might mean that his third one is prized. I do believe he plays three Tynamos. Uh, he would definitely want to get the third one down this turn so we could uh, get any electric out again because certainly both of them are going to be knocked out next turn not really a question about that and we do see a magnetic draw he's gonna refill his hand up to six uh, we're gonna have quite a bit of a chess match here um, <laughs> it doesn't look like he has a switch yet so step one for Roberto is get a switch in your hand or a junk arm for a switch um, so you can switch your electric for Magnezone and Lost Burn the active for a knockout. Either that or actually you might be better off using uh, Zekrom to Outrage. That would actually be the smarter play. Uh, you can Outrage him for a knockout, uh, saving the energy on your Pokemon. So that would be step one. You need to switch. And then step two would be, man, you need to get Electric into play. Um, that would be the big thing. So see if he has a switch there we go there's a switch and he's actually gonna send out Magnazone, which I don't agree with um, I would rather see him send out Zekrom and use Outrage here there's 70 HP left on that Kyurem so uh, I would definitely like to see Roberto use Zekrom for the knockout here but he's actually gonna go ahead and use uh, Lost Burn removing two energy from play and this is the big difference uh, if he would use Outrage here he would save those two energy in play for later. Um, potentially, if he had another switch, he could actually save those two energy uh, and not have to retreat them, uh, which would be uh, a, a huge difference in the game. I mean, the name of the game for Roberto right now is just keeping energy in play, and he just removed two for no real reason. Uh, if he just would have used Outrage, that would have been an easy knockout, and he could have kept the two Lightning, on Zekrom, he would have had um, a Lightning on Magneton and still two on the Magnezone. So I have to question that decision here. Um, maybe he just didn't see that option. There was just enough to outrage that Kyurem for a knockout, but um, we'll see where he goes from here. Now, he's gonna. Samu does have a Twins, so he can grab any two cards from his deck. Uh, he will be able to Glaciate this turn and knock out the other two Electrics. The problem is. The active Kyurem will be knocked out. There's no real way around that. Um, he's going to be knocked out. Nothing he can really do about it. Um, it's just, how does he follow up? He can't really afford to use another Electrode to Energy Might. Uh, Roberto is down to three prizes. He'll be down to two after the Kyurem is knocked out. So he has to decide. Uh, do I want to use Terrakian or another Kyurem? And it looks like he's going to go for Terrakian, which... I would agree with this does seem like the better move um, after you glaciate everything you'll be able to knock out the electrics and Terrakian should be able to fulfill his cleanup role um, he's really good at cleaning up picking up the pieces after you've uh, you've set him up Kyurem sets him up and Terrakian knocks him down that's what he's good at he's good at charging through castle walls apparently if you ever uh, take the time to read his flavor text. That's what Terrakian likes to do in his spare time. Uh, apparently he also likes to charge through Magnezones as well. That's his hobby. Uh, but anyway, we do see a catcher, a catcher onto uh, Magneton and Glaciate. Now, why would you catcher out Magneton? Because that's going to make Roberto pay an energy to retreat and then Lost Burn for a knockout. Um, he's just trying to limit the number of energy Roberto actually has in play at this point, he realizes, okay, I've knocked out the electrics, there's no energy acceleration anymore, how do I take advantage of that? And the answer is, catch her up Magneton, make him pay an energy to retreat. At the very least, um, he'll have to use another switch, or a junk arm for a switch, that's another resource he doesn't want to have to use, so, um, very good play by Sammy to recognize this situation, and we'll see what happens from here. Now, if you're Roberto, uh, you're going to want to get 
another Tynamo into play immediately if you can. Now, if that if there um, are no more in your deck, meaning there's one prized, you're gonna have to go for a Super Rod as quickly as possible. Um, if there <laughs> if you don't have an option to get a Tynamo out, you're gonna be in some trouble, I would think. Uh, here is a Junk Arm though, so we will see. Alright, yep, we're gonna see Junk Arm discarding an N and a Communication, getting a switch. Yep, there we go. So it's gonna go ahead <clears throat> and switch into Magnazone. I would hope. Uh, that would be the best option here, I think. You have to actually knock out a Kyurem this turn, I think. Uh, you can't really afford to Outrage. That would not be a good idea. Um, so, his decision is basically going to be, do I Catcher Terrakian and knock that out, or do I just knock out Kyurem? Either one's probably not going to be favorable for you. So, um, I mean, tough decision, but I think either way he's going to be in a bit of trouble. The one way Roberto can win is to get another Electric into play. It's going to be the only way he can win. Um, I don't know... Um, I don't think he plays anything like a Pachirisu. That would be something I overlooked. Um, Pachirisu would allow him to drop two lightning energy onto his field with self-generation. That would be a big deal. And fuel loss burn that way. Uh, but most people actually don't play that in this deck. There's no reason to when you have electric. So I don't think we'll see that. But if things go the way they are now, and we just have one energy attachment at a time... I don't see Roberto winning, and he actually decides to catch her out the Terrakian. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, the way the math works out, it's just not going to end well for him, and uh, Kyurem's just going to keep glaciating, and I don't think um, he's going to be able to win the game. So I think the better option would have been to just take your chances with the Terrakian. Um, no matter what, he's going to have to get a Tynamo down, I think, this turn in order to win. If he doesn't, He's in deep trouble. And there we go, there's an electric. So I'm going to assume there's a Tynamo prized. And if that's the case, there's just no way for Roberto to win this game. It's unfortunate, but um, that's just the way it is. Uh, we'll see what he does from here. Um, not really sure what else he can do. He's going to Lost Burn. And take the knockout on the Terrakian. So, uh, from here, we're just going to see Sammy Glaciate gonna knock out the bench Zekrom and then uh, put the active Magnezone at 120 damage and then from there Roberto's just not gonna have enough energy to finish out the game um, it's just a straightforward simple fact uh, one Glaciate will put the active Magnezone at 120 damage and then Roberto can attach an energy he won't be able to loss burn for a knockout uh, and then the energy is basically gonna be stranded on the active Magnezone uh, and then Kyurem can glaciate again, and then at that point, the bench Magnezone will be at 120 damage. So if he were to just power up the bench Magnezone, that's going to be knocked out before he can loss burn for a knockout. So basically, there's just enough damage on Roberto's field where Sammy can just, say, glaciate the rest of the game, and he's going to end up winning. Uh, I don't see a way out for Roberto, unless he plays a card like Pachirisu, like I said. That would be one way for him to steal a win here. Um, another way would be if he had something that could possibly move the energy off of his active, uh, like a Shaman or an energy switch. That would save him the game. Uh, other than that, short of benching a random Cabalion and a Metal Energy, I don't see a way he can win this game. Um, there's three prizes left for Sammy. It's just going to take three Glaciates for him to win the game, and that's all there is to it. I mean, there's no way Roberto can avoid it, unless he plays like a Potion. I guess I overlooked that one too. Potion, Life Herb, something like that. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'm not seeing it. So, we'll see Sammy... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Sammy does play a Twins, uh, gets a Junk Arm. He's going to catch her out the Bench Magnezone, I would think. Just in case there are some shenanigans with the Pachirisu, uh, but I don't think there will be. He's just playing it safe. 
Uh, and then he's just gonna glaciate. Sammy might realize at this point that he's pretty much won the game. But we'll see if Roberto has any tricks up his sleeve. There could be something I'm forgetting about, but uh, unless I'm mistaken, there's really not gonna be a way for him to lost burn this Kyrum for a knockout. So, uh, there we go. Glaciate once again. 30 to everything on the field. That bench Magnezone has 20 hit points left. The active uh, now has 50 left, so two Glaciates and the game will end. That's the grim reality that Roberto is faced with. Uh, if he doesn't see it right now, he will see it very shortly. Uh, let's see. Um, he's going to play Collector. We'll see if he's got a way out. Uh, another way out would be if he does have a Tynamo. Um, I overlooked that one as well. Uh, if he did get a Tynamo down this turn, and then an Electric the next turn, he would actually be able to get three energy in play and get a knockout with Lost Bird, but again, I think that Tynamo is prized. He cannot find a Super Rod to shuffle in his Tynamos, and that's just going to be pretty much the end of the game. Um, I mean, he can try to draw in to the Tynamos, or I mean, he can try to draw into the Super Rod. That would be the one way uh, he can maybe pull out a win here. That would actually be his way to win. He does have two magnetic draws. So yeah, this game is actually not over yet. If he can somehow draw into a Super Rod and then maybe communication for a Tynamo, he can get this. So here's a Sage's Training, but he did play a Collector already. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, the Sage's Training probably would have gotten him close to a Super Rod at the very least. Um, so you actually can't play any more supporters because he already played his collector. This is the problem with Magnazone, unfortunately. Sometimes your hand just gets stuck with six cards that you can't really play. And you can't actually draw anymore. That might be exactly what happened here. If that's the case, uh, this is going to be pretty much game over. And Roberto, thinking through all of his options, <laughs> making sure he didn't miss anything. Uh, just unfortunate that the Tynamo is prized. He couldn't draw the Super Rod. Uh, if he could get another Electric into play, he'd actually be able to Lost Burn for this last knockout. Uh, but doesn't look like he'll be able to here. Same, he's just going to attach an extra energy in case of a, a Lost Remover or something like that. We're going to have a Lightning. And then, finally, the Sage's Training. Um, I actually would have liked to see Roberto wait... You know, uh, he actually still had a small, small chance to pull out a weird win. Um, if he had a switch, and then um, he got a Super Rod, and then got Tynamo out, he could switch to the Tynamo and try to Thunder Wave. And here's a Junk Arm here. So he could have actually gone for a Thunder Wave to paralyze the Kyum for a turn. And then next turn, Lost Burn for the win. So uh, maybe he overlooked that. But he already attached the energy, so this game is pretty much over. Um, oh, it looks like the Super Rod was actually already going to discard by a while. Uh, so he just couldn't find the Junk Arm. That's what he was looking for. All right. So if he had that, um, I mean, actually, yeah, if he didn't attach the Lightning, then he actually could have had a pretty decent shot at, um, you know, getting a Switch and then... Playing a Lightning on the Tynamo and going for the Thunder Wave. That would have paralyzed Sammy for a turn. Um, and then it would have given him that extra turn to get the Electric into play. And then get the game-winning Loss Burn. So, um, surprised he already attached the Lightning. That's unfortunate. Now he just left himself with no way out. But, um, yeah. Um, now the Magnezone's just got 20 hit points left. There's no way for him to avoid the knockout. He's just going to Lost Burn for 80. And then Sammy can announce either attack, and he'll win the game. So, really, really close game. Unfortunate for Roberto that his Tynamo was prized. I think we'll see if he flips over his prizes, but actually, no, he didn't. <laughs> but uh, I think we can assume that Tynamo was prized. He couldn't get that Junk Arm quickly enough. Uh, once both the Electrics were knocked out, he uh, ran out of Energy Acceleration, and he just couldn't keep up with Sammy's constant attacking. He could not knock out the giant basic Pokemon, the Kyurum, the Terrakian, 
They were just too much. Uh, unless you can keep loss burning them for one hit knockouts uh, efficiently and quickly, they're just going to eventually overrun you. And that's what happened here. The electrics were knocked out, and that's all there was to it. So a great match between two great players. Uh, looks like Sammy will knock out the undefeated Roberto Arenas, and he will move on to the top four. We will see another match here soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.